welcome back to school. We are kicking off our next season of Spotlight with the spotlight on our back to school special with no other than our superintendent, Antoine Wilson, who is back for his third school year. I mean, that time has really flown by. So welcome back, back to school, and we're here to talk with our superintendent. Welcome back. I mean, welcome back to school. Absolutely. But I, I, three years. This is like the third school year. That's incredible. That much time has passed. Well, it's flown by. It's actually felt more like an extended first year right. than it is uh, <laughs> three years. But I'm excited, right. extremely excited to get going on uh, Monday, 22nd of August. I'm um, excited to invite our students back, see our teachers are already here, our school leaders are here, and a lot of excitement in the district and looking forward to it. Right. You've been doing a lot of fun things. I heard about the Values Day. Um, you can tell us a little bit more about what that was in the district. But just tell us about what has happened in the last three years, because it seems like it's gone by fast, but a whole lot has, has really been done. Well, you really learn in two years how much you can get done and then also um, how much more you need to do. So I'm really excited about a number of things. So one of the things that uh, we're excited about is just our increased investments in our schools. And so last year uh, we invested over $18 million uh, into our schools. This year another $24 million invested into our schools. Uh, that's leading to uh, increases in pay for employees throughout the the district is uh, leading to increased uh, investments in programming. So we have new curriculum rolling out in our middle schools. We have some uh, new tutoring programs that are um, rolling out, uh, more investment in athletics and arts and music uh, programs, which um, I'm really excited about. But there's several other things. I mean, when I came, the district was significantly behind in audits, and we were talking about financials from 2008. Right. We're true. completely caught up in our really? audits now. And, That's uh, incredible. Absolutely, and uh, that goes out to some hard work from our fiscal team and uh, you know, just uh, commitment um, in the district to make sure that we completed multiple audits a year and we got all caught up and it led to, you know, a really uh, great credit rating being restored oh, to yeah. Oakland. And uh, we're excited about that because we're refinancing bonds and saving taxpayers and uh, citizens here in Oakland millions of dollars. That's and what I was gonna say. What does that mean for the taxpayer? Like when you get Millions the audit, of dollars millions saved, saved, millions of dollars saved. And also it's important on the audits, understand that we, would hold back millions of dollars because um, we uh, had to pay findings and penalties and all of that um, for that not being done um, going back to state receivership and so getting all of that caught up means wow. more investment in our schools and that was something that uh, was really important to me coming in uh, making sure I got that done the board really identified that uh, for me when I was interviewing as a top priority and we got that done now in addition to that um, getting that done. I mean, we started and launched with the city and also the East Bay College Fund, the uh, Oakland Promise. So we're really excited about that. I mean, we saw um, students earn uh, scholarships to college and they get me got mentors. And um, so we're excited those students are going to be off to college and that's great. Uh, we are partnering um, with uh, Starting, Star Starting uh, Smart and Strong. We've rolled out significant expansion in our early childhood programming. And uh, so I'm excited about that and under the leadership of Deputy Chief Mon Ray Mondragon. And that's been excellent. And then we've increased uh, access to college level courses. Um, we have seen a 400% increase in students taking college level courses Incredible. while they're in school. And uh, we- now that's a big deal because, I mean, all of it's a big deal, but the reason why I'm saying that is because at one point, some schools were saying they didn't have, you know, with AP classes, they yeah. have access to now they're yeah. taking college level classes where they can actually matriculate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I want to make sure people understand with the right. Oakland Promise. I mean, that we have partnership with our community college, first semester of community college free for Oakland graduates. Yeah, and so that incredible. is extremely important. And then um, the students taking the college classes while they're in high school and continuing to expand that in addition to advanced placement courses is important. We have courses in our alternative schools, which we are rebranding as uh, intensive pathway schools. We have these courses being offered in those schools, mm -hmm. which is extremely important that because is. every student deserves access to college level material and uh, every student um, deserves access to culturally responsive uh, um, curriculum, which leads me to another excite, exciting point, which is our and continued investment in uh, issues of equity. So we rolled out a new equity policy. We now what, are, now what's, what does that mean, what, equity policy? Well, what we're essentially saying is this, that we recognize that some of our students are going to need more 
um, in order to uh, reach the same high outcomes and expectations we have for all of our students. And so um, that policy says that in addition to finding ways to ensure that we are offering a culturally responsive curriculum, in addition to ensuring that we are um, doing everything we can to ensure that we have culturally proficient educators working with our students, we're also going to find ways to um, give additional funding in places where um, we know some students are going to need some additional funding in order to reach right. the outcomes. Um, and you know, Shonda, that has led to increased graduation rates for us. So we see graduation rates up. We see significant increases in our A to G completion rate, which is what uh, uh, we need to have as a district in order for students to leave and go to college. And um, so we're excited about that. And then knowing that, as I mentioned, we have more work to do. So we are really drilling down on um, some additional things this year that we think will uh, help uh, continue to propel us towards the types of outcomes we want to see for all of our students. So what were some of the lessons learned you feel like you learned over the last three years since you've been here? Because I know you you yeah. came in great, but you still evolved into yeah. greater yeah. greatness. So what, what were some of the lessons learned? Well, one of the first things I said uh, when I came, actually, the first day I spoke, I said I'm going to allow myself to be smarter today than I was yesterday. And essentially what I'm trying to say is that as we get more information, we're going to use that information to inform our decisions. So please accept um, the uh, evolution or changes as an example of listening, as an example of um, us being willing to learn lessons. And so for me, I think one of the biggest things you come to uh, gain in a, a couple years is context you uh, come to develop relationships and you learn from those relationships. So I learned how passionate um, people are. I learned about some of the strengths that already existed. I learned about some of the pitfalls that it have happened in the past and um, even some of the things that we've rolled out that could have been rolled out better. I mean, I, you learn all of those things. Now, me personally, I believe that uh, conflict and progress and, and uh, also pitfalls, I believe that's all part of growth and learning and getting to greatness, um, excellence, if you will. So for me, uh, I am more passionate now than I was when I came in. My passion. I can see it. I mean, yeah. I mean you're in the comfort and yeah. you know, just ready to go. Yeah. And I have to tell you, the passion meter was uh, already through the charts yeah. when I got here. That's so, true. but it's more so now because uh, we have some of those successes and uh, mm -hmm. I know what's possible here. Uh, and it's what I thought was uh, possible before I came, but even more so because of the relationships that I've seen and the people I've met. And that is that we can provide a world-class education to young people. We can become a place where um, adults want to be here and are attracted to us. And, and uh, we can become a place that actually serves as an example for other cities across the country as to how you can value culture, how you can uplift issues of equity, and how you can ensure that all of those things, such as social, emotional aspects of learning, that you can combine that with the academics and ensure that every student derives about. Well, great, good job. And we just, we'll just close with some words of wisdom that you have for the students for the school year as part of the welcome. You could just share right with them, like what are your words of wisdom to launch this school year off for the students? Well, what I would say to students is this, that we want our students to come to school, and it's extremely important, every day. Take advantage of every day. I know when you're young, you think you got all kinds of time, but really what they do right now as young people sets the stage for their future. So we want them to come every day to do their best and to know that if they truly do their best and they, can't, they, they know whether or not they are doing their best, they can't fool themselves. That means studying, that means following through on the commitments that they make to, to their to teachers and their parents. Truly do their best that uh, it'll work out for them, that their best truly is good enough. And I look forward to seeing our students this year and uh, I want them to have an awesome school year. Great, well congratulations and welcome to school. The next with the next school year. Well, thank you, Shonda. I look forward to several more years and continuing to uh, do the work here in Oakland and continue to grow as a leader. Right. Well, we thank you for your service. And thank the work you. I appreciate it. We thank appreciate you. It. Thank you for joining us. You have been watching Spotlight. Today, our Spotlight was a back-to-school special with our superintendent, Antoine Wilson, of the Oakland Unified School District, where every student thrives. Thank you for joining us.